Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over how to control users and user permissions for your Shopify store. So starting in the admin section of the store, we're going to go into settings. And we're going to go into users and permissions. So Shopify lets you get very in-depth with the level of permissions that you're giving each member of the store. And Shopify also breaks up the user accounts into three different designations. So the first one is the store owner. And the store owner has access to all parts of the store with no restrictions. And there can only be one designated store owner. So the store owner will also have access to certain exclusive things like Shopify Capital and certain billing options. So um, it's important to know who the Shopify store owner is and for the store owner to make sure that they don't get locked out of their account. You can also see each person as they log in on the top level. So you can see their login information over here or rather when they logged in if you need to see who accessed the store at a certain time. So the second designation is a staff account. This is usually reserved for your internal employees or certain others that need access to the store. And the amount of staff accounts that you can have depends on the Shopify plan that you're on. So the different plans come with different amounts of staff accounts. And with each staff account, you can control their specific permissions. So if you have someone that already has a staff account, you can click on their name. And you'll see some information about that user over here, their name and email. If they have two-factor authentication set up, you can assign a bio to the user. You can select whether or not the user gets important notifications by email. And if the user forgot their email, uh, forgot their login, you can send them an email with instructions on how to reset their specific password. Now down here, you have the permissions that you can set for this user. And you have a few options. You can either give someone permission to the entire store as a whole, which you can do by just clicking select all permissions. And then down here under app permissions, you can check these two boxes and with all that selected, you can give someone access to the entire store. You can also give access to specific sections. So the different tabs that make up the homepage, if you want to just give access to products and content and customers, you can choose the top level and give access to the top level and everything in that section or you can give access to certain permissions within a specific section. So if I just want someone to be able to go in and view products, or I want them to be able to create and edit products, but I don't want them to delete the products, you can adjust that access per section in these dropdowns, and you can toggle those dropdowns over here. So you can give access to specific parts of the store or specific apps over here, or all apps. And you can also control whether or not someone can approve charges on the App Store. Now, continuing down, you can also see the login details from this user account. So you can see when this user account accessed the store, the IP address that they used, and the internet service provider, as well as the physical location. You can also see if any if the user has any apps tied to their account over here. And finally, you can control their access over here, either by suspending their access or removing their access. So suspending the access means that the user won't have access to the store. And when you suspend their access, it will remove a staff account from your total amount allowed. But the user's account will still exist on the store. So for example, if let's say you had an employee that left for six months and they don't need access to the store in those six months, you can suspend that access and then re-enable that access when they come back. If that user no longer needs this account, you can just remove the account as a whole. 
Now, if you were creating a brand new staff account, you can go ahead and click just add user in the top right or add staff. And all you need to do is add the user's first name, last name, and the email. Select the permissions that you want them to have access to. And then click send invite. Then at that point, the user will get an email with instructions on how to create their account and how to access the store. Now the final designation for a user account is a collaborator account. So collaborators are Shopify partners that have special accounts that can access your store through their account. Now the collaborators don't count against your staff accounts. So you can have as many collaborators as you need have access to your store and just like the other users you can click on their names and control which permissions they have access to. You can also control how you handle collaborator accounts so you can set it so that anyone can request a collaborate as a collaborator. So any Shopify partner can request access to your store at any time or you can make it so that they can only request access if they have your access code. So if you choose that option, Shopify will allow you to create a collaborator request code. They give you one by default, but you can set your own code over here and you can send this code to collaborators that you speak with so that they can access your store with this code. And finally down here, if you have any third party apps, that have control over the store or that can access the store, you can control that information down here. And that's how you would control all the users and the permissions for your Shopify store.